Welcome to This Week in Burbank for October 12th through October 18th, 2013. Burbank Mayor Emily Gabaletti and Library Services Director Sharon Cohen were the guests of Incheon South Korea Mayor Song Young Gil for the Sister and Friendly Cities Summit 2013. The event was held over four days in the city of some three million people in late September. Incheon, which is one of Burbank's four sister cities, organizes the gathering every two years to keep in touch with about 20 of their sister and friendly cities around the world to discuss important municipal issues. This year's theme was Sustainable Cities. Burbank Mayor Gable Luddy gave an update on what Burbank is doing in the area of sustainability. She addressed the 100 international dignitaries in attendance on environmental policy implementation and touched on Burbank Water and Power's Eco Campus. Sharon Cohen is the longtime liaison between the city of Burbank and its volunteers on the Sister City Committee. She used the trip to strengthen ties with Incheon city officials and get a better understanding of the city as a whole, where a group of Burbank teenagers goes every two years as part of a rotating Sister City exchange program. <laughs> Judging by the crowd and smiles, the Burbank Public Library's How To Festival was a big hit. The city celebrated 100 years of library services during this unique centennial celebration on Saturday, October 5th. More than 1,000 residents came to the Central Library to learn a little bit about a lot. Attendees were treated to more than 60 How To sessions where experts taught skills like how to use chopsticks, make jewelry, drop out like that. fix a flat tire, and even put out a stove fire. Look at that. We've got different city departments, nonprofits, small businesses within our community, all coming out to do different how-to segments to really draw some interest to our community center, which is our libraries of the future. If you missed out on the event, remember you can learn more about everything taught that day by visiting your public library. The Burbank Bike Angels were at the How-To Festival showing folks how to refurbish an old bike. Well, on Saturday, October 19th, you can participate in a Bike Angels bike drive at Logic's Federal Credit Union on Hollywood Way. You can donate cash or an old bike or visit with the Bike Angels volunteers who will tell you how you can volunteer or have them teach you how to make minor fixes to your own bike, such as fix a chain, change a tire, or adjust a seat. The festivities will include yogurt from Yogurtland and catering from Koji Barbecue. Bike Angels is a volunteer group of city employees and local residents that refurbishes donated bicycles to store-bought condition, then gives them as gifts during the holiday season to local kids through the Salvation Army's Angel Tree Program, the Burbank Temporary Aid Center, and other local charities. Organizations supporting the program include the Burbank Association of Realtors, the Burbank Firefighters Association, and the Burbank Police Officers Association. The event takes place at Logic's Federal Credit Union on Saturday, October 19th from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. at 2340 Hollywood Way in Burbank across from Fry's Electronics. Audiences have been entertained for more than a half century at the Starlight Bowl, and now the city of Burbank wants your feedback regarding the future of the unique venue. At issue are the use, programming, and enhancements to the amphitheater on the hill, as well as existing needs, challenges, and what any changes could bring to the surrounding community. If you have opinions, thoughts, or suggestions regarding the Starlight Bowl and its programs, now is the time to come by and share them with the city. The community meeting is set for Wednesday, October 16th from 6 to 9 p.m. at the McCambridge Recreation Center. For more information, please email starlightbowlboxoffice at burbankca.gov. Get ready for a chilling night of fright at the annual Haunted Adventure Tour, sponsored by the Burbank Park Recreation and Community Services Department, to be held on Friday, October 18th and Saturday, October 19th. Tickets for the 15-minute spooky tour are $5 per person and will be sold from 7 to 9 each night at Stow Park. Welcome, welcome. This is Undead News. Come, come, come. The Burbank Nature docents will lead you on a frightening tour of the Starlight Bowl turned into a haunted, insane asylum. Please note, an adult must accompany children under 12 years old, and this terrifying tour is so scary children under six years old will not be allowed. Also new this year, there will be a climbing rock tower. The fee for the tower will be $5 for unlimited use from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. based on space availability. 
People interested in the Haunted Adventure Tour should meet at Stow Park near the Starlight Bowl off of Walnut Avenue. Face painting, games, and other fun activities will help participants start the Fright Night off right. Please call 818-238-5440 or visit www.burbankusa.com for more information. And if you have any thoughts about public safety in Burbank, drop by a community forum this week sponsored by the Burbank Police Commission and the Burbank Police Department. Discussion items will include safety and security of local schools and other topics. The community forum takes place Wednesday, October 16th from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. at Luther Burbank Middle School. I'm Peter Masurlian, and this has been This Week in Burbank.